now let us discuss about pop up boxes or dialog boxes in html mainly we have three types of pop up boxes first one is alert box second one is confirm box third one is prompt box first let us see about alert box yeah an alert box is mainly useful in order to give a warning message to the user so alert box contains a message which is useful in order to warn the user alert box gives only one button called okay we have to click on the okay button in order to proceed let us see the syntax of the alert box here we have to use a method called alert method alert method is available in window object why because all these are windows pop ups or dialog boxes are from windows so window dot alert off so we have to place some text within the double quotations now let's see an example for the alert box so this is html tag head tag body section uh, we can use script tag either in uh, head tag or uh, body tag here i am using script tag within the head section uh so we have to use window object window dot alert tab so what is the advantage of alert box it is mainly useful in order to display an alert message to the user sometimes we will get this message like uh, your system will be shut down in 10 seconds will be shut down in 1 minute 1 minute so this is the best example for the alert box okay or your battery will be shut down in 1 minute like that so control c control c now let us run the program let us run the program so name of the file is dialog so if we observe here if we observe here so this is alert box this page shows your system will be your system will be shut down in 1 minute so the text which is enclosed in double quotation so will be displayed here and uh, we have okay button so we need to click on the okay button so whenever we click on the okay button then this button will be invisible okay so click on the okay button then this button will be invisible so this is the advantage of the alert box so by using alert box we can display an alert message to the user we can display an alert message to the user if we click on the okay button then it doesn't return any value okay simply this uh, button this window this uh, this window will be this alert box will be hidden okay so this is about uh, alert box now let us see the next one next box uh, that is uh, confirm box so let us see the advantage of the confirm box a confirmation dialog box is mostly used in order to take users consent on any option so if you want to take any users option then we have to use confirm box confirm box mainly contains two buttons first one is okay button second button is cancel button if the user clicks on the okay button then the method the window method confirm will returns a true whereas if the user clicks on the cancel button then the confirm method returns false okay so here the syntax is window dot confirm of within the double quotations we need to place some text now let us modify the program in place of alert now we have to use confirm so what is the advantage of the confirm box it is useful in order to know the reaction of the user the best example for the confirm box is if you want to delete a file or folder sometimes we will get this message do you want to delete or not are you sure are you sure do you want to delete or not if you want to delete a file then we will get this message to delete or not are you sure do you want to delete or not are you sure do you want to delete or not okay now let us run the program so run the program 
so if you observe here if you observe here so this is the confined box this space so uh, this space says are you sure do you want to delete or not here uh, alert box contains only one button called okay button we have to click on the okay button in order to proceed for the next statement whereas confined box contains two buttons first button is okay second button is uh, cancel button if you click on the okay button then it returns true value whereas if you click on the cancel button then it returns false value okay if you observe this is the confined box so if you want to display that message true and false then we can do that by storing the uh, corresponding result in a variable let us store the result in a variable uh, so in javascript we declare a variable with the help of the var so now the result is stored in a now let us display that a so in order to print the message we use the write method write method is available in the document object so document dot write of display a okay so if you click on the okay button then uh, a contains uh, true whereas if you click on the cancel button then a contains false let's see whether it is uh, happening or not let us uh, reload the program so let us reload the program so if we observe here here we have confirm box uh, just click on the okay button then it returns true value so then uh, uh, true will be displayed okay so if you see here if you see here we got true as the output we got true as the output now let us reload the program one more time here if you observe here here we have true as the output let us reload the program one more time now now click on the cancel button now what will happen we will get false as the output okay if you observe here we got false as the output so this is the use of the confined box it is mainly useful in order to know the reaction of the user whether user want to proceed or not so confirm box contains two button okay and cancel if the user clicks on the okay button then it returns true value whereas if the user clicks on the cancel button then it returns false value now let us see about the next control that is uh, prompt box let's see what is the advantage of the prompt box a prompt box is often used if you want the user to input a value before entering a page so prompt box is mainly useful in order to read data from the keyboard so if you want to read data from the keyboard uh, in javascript we have to use prompt box in c we use scanner function whereas in javascript we have to use prompt box when a pro prompt box pops up the user will have to click on either okay or cancel so prompt box also contains two buttons okay buttons as well as cancel button to proceed after entering an input value so after entering the data we need to uh, we need to uh, click on either okay or cancel button if the user clicks on okay then the box returns the input value let we entered ramesh so ramesh will be written down suppose if the user clicks on the cancel button then the box returns false value so if we click on the okay button then the data which we entered will be returned and stored in the variable whereas if the user clicks on the cancel button then uh, prompt box returns null value let us see the syntax for the prompt box window dot prompt of uh, within the double quotation uh, place the text comma here the second argument is optional default text so the default text will be displayed in the text box now let us see how the prompt box will be displayed uh, so window dot window dot what is the box prompt window dot prompt of uh, let us uh, supply the first argument enter your name enter your name enter your name now let's see how we will get the prompt box let us reload the application so if you observe here this is the prompt box this space says enter your name so the the text will be displayed and after that we will get some text box okay after that we will get some text box 
next we we have two buttons okay button and cancel button uh, if we want we can provide default text here we can provide default text here comma comma let us provide the default text as sachin now what we happen sachin will be initially stored in the uh, corresponding text box so let us run the program So if you observe here, if you observe here, initially text box contains Sachin. If we want, we can do the modification. Okay. Let's do the modification. Ramesh. Then if you click on the OK button, now what will happen? That Ramesh will be retained and it will be stored in A. And after that, what we are doing? We are displaying A. So if you display A, then what will happen? Ramesh will be displayed. If you observe here, here we got Ramesh as the output. Okay. Now let us run the program one more time. Let us run the program one more time. Suppose let us assume that we clicked on the cancel button. Then what will happen? If you click on the cancel button, then it returns null. If you observe here, we got null as the output. We got null as the output. So this is about, this is about dialog boxes or pop-up boxes. So we have three dialog boxes. So what is the first one? The alert box. It is useful in order to display alert message to the user, warning message to the user. Alert box contains only one button called OK button. It doesn't return any value. Second box is confirm box. It is useful in order to know the reaction of the user. It mainly contains two buttons, OK button, cancel button. If you click on the OK button, then it returns true value. Whereas if you click on the cancel button, then it returns false value. And what is the next control? Prompt box, prompt uh, box. It is mainly useful in order to read data from the user. It contains two buttons, just like the confirm box, OK and cancel. If you click on the OK button, then the data which we entered will be returned. Suppose if you click on the cancel button, it returns none. If you want, we can provide the default test here by supplying it as 